welcome to my first podcast and uh, yeah i hope you will enjoy also this podcast uh, what i'm producing in english for you uh, i will talk about a little bit everything what is uh, going uh, in in my mind <laughs> and uh, what what's happening actually also in my life in my personal life so welcome back to my channel and uh, welcome back to this podcast if you're looking for inspiration or some tales of innovation and glory then he goes got the story Okay, welcome back. Now we are since one week back in Switzerland and um, we are um, watching or checking every day actually the CCTV of our house and uh, we miss very much our house and we miss very much also Thailand because at the moment here in Switzerland we have grey weather, it's only raining and, uh, and in the next the forecast in the next few days is also not better. So. Um, the the life what you are living here in Switzerland is mostly in closed rooms at home and um, because uh, if you want to see the sun you have to go really to the mountains and going to the mountains in Switzerland is very expensive it can easily cost you 500 Swiss francs per day per person and uh, so you are actually you have no other choice to stay at home or um, yeah to 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 make a walk with a raining <laughs> if someone like that i'm not uh, the kind of man who likes to walk when it's raining but uh, i like more to enjoy good weather and good weather i can find only in thailand and this is something that i really missing very very much and in the last few days it was also um, I read about uh, vitamin D and it seems that vitamin D is very very important for your health and for your body um, to prevent cancer actually it's that what they say I cannot confirm uh, so uh, don't attack me or uh, yeah or think uh, um, yeah you have now to uh, be the line of the keyboard but uh, anyway uh, it's I think it's it's uh, it's like that that in uh, that the vitamin D or actually sun is a good medicine like good food good food is also very good medicine for your body in general so that is something that I have to tell you in Thailand you have to be very careful with food food is something that in Thailand if you don't know how to handle it or if you don't uh, use uh, the life in Thailand uh, you will get always food full of sugar and glutamate and uh, so to uh, prevent that or avoid that uh, the only chance a change what you have is to cook at home and that is um, yeah what what I will do I will most of the time cook at home for sure in Thailand and I will rarely take food from outside only if I know how they cook it because this is really poison for your body and uh, you can increase easily weight with this sugar and glutamate food what they uh, uh, have in Thailand or what they used in Thailand sugar glutamate a lot of sweet and uh, yeah I think it's really <laughs> better to avoid that anyway what I also, um, yeah, what I uh, feel is that uh, in, in Sisaket I was really walking a lot, you know, and uh, I, I made 15,000 steps per day easily, you know, but here in Switzerland you are really, you just make a life in your apartment or uh, also if I'm going every day to the gym, but it's not the same as uh, to be outside, you know, fresh air. To, uh, with good sun and uh, also if sometimes it's a little bit too hot in Thailand last time we had uh, nearly 51 degrees in Sisaket but it's still better uh, this life in Thailand than the life here in uh, Switzerland I think the best medicine uh, generally for you is sun then uh, good food and happiness 
I think these are the three factors that uh, um, every one of us need to have a good life. You know, in Switzerland, um, all the people, they are really only complaining the whole day. They are very depressed and uh, they just um, watching the wall the whole day. And this is really not the life that I like to do or that I like to spend. I see many older people, they, they, they just complain the whole day. I don't know, you know, they are really, they, they are living in the, in the richest country of the world. And they have money, these people, but they are unhappy, unhappy, unhappiness, unhappy they are. And you know, what, what helps you if you have a lot of money and you are unhappy? Helps you nothing. So better start to enjoy life from today onwards. And that is not the meaning that you don't need money. You need money. That is for sure that you need money. You know how this world is working now. But uh, you can have also a very, very good life with less money. No problem at all. It depends on you. What are you thinking? What are you, yeah, how, how you, you, your mindset is, you know. And actually, I, I do like to talk about mindset because I think uh, most of these mindset uh, uh, mm, uh, topics are bullshit, you know. But I think in this case, that you are just to try to to look for a life where you can be happy and that, that can also mean that you go to Africa to live for I don't know where you know uh, this is I think one of the most important thing in your life is the best medicine for your body I don't know what you are thinking about it I mean you can comment it's no problem I mean for this is the channel here and podcast uh, I like to interact with you and uh, so I'm really curious to know what to, what you are thinking about this. Okay, now I will end this podcast and I hope you enjoy it a little bit and I hope you will also interact and I'm really curious to know what you are thinking about uh, happiness in life and generally, if you really need a lot of money or if you can have also life with less money, a good life, I mean a happy life. Okay, thank you very much. And yeah, stay healthy and safe.